And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Dreadway combo. That's right, our combo here is having the Dreadway in play, nine mana, four, eight. Um, the important thing is the double all damage dealt by allies. So if we have this and then we play Ledros, Ledros has the play deal half, a damage equal to half of their health, but we double all the damage dealt by allies, so that gets doubled, and then our opponent dies on the spot. Doesn't matter what their life total is, but of course that's, that's a difficult combo um, uh, to pull off. You have to have a 9 mana card in play, and then play another 9 mana card, and have this ability resolve that people can respond to as well. It's not too easy to uh, pull off, but that's what we're going to be trying to do. We played this deck on mon on Monday for Meme Tier Monday. Um, with putting these together, that was a Meme Tier deck, but it honestly looked pretty good. It was a a fun deck to play. We went four and one, and so we're gonna just bring it back and play it in, uh, um, you know, just regular ranked uh, and everything. Um, well, I mean, we did play it in ranked before, so we play everything in ranked, but it's upgrading out of Meme Tier Monday status. Anyway, um, that's kind of our deck. I could see taking out a Coral Creatures and playing another Pilfered Goods, maybe. In fact, you know, let's do that. I just really, really like Pilfered Goods. Coral Creatures is pretty nice, too, though. Um, another strength of our deck is just having Twisted Fate, Gangplank, and Rekindler. Both of those champions are great to bring back with Rekindler. We kind of just keep bringing back, you know, like we play Gangplank, they kill it, bring it back. Um, you know, we have a really good late game. Um... But uh, yeah, let's let's go. Let's let's give this a try. Dreadway combo. We need to go three and two, so we can keep our keep our streak kind of going over here and make it a five hundred day. Or maybe we go four one. You know, maybe we do better than three and two, and we have a better than five hundred day. So let's see. I'll, I'll change the deck list. I'll edit that to add in one more pilfered goods and take out a coral creatures. All right, I'll save that. Coral creatures is definitely an underrated card. Hmm. We'll get rid of Vengeance, because it just costs too much, but I, I kind of like the rest of the stuff. These hapless aristocrats do a really good job of turning on our pilfer goods, also. Unfortunately, we're just we're just not attacking on turn two, unfortunately. I didn't want the second hapless aristocrat right here. But oh well, we got a second one. Let's go. Alright, we've already leveled up. We've already gotten two for Gangplank. Give me a card. What you got? Might? Okay. What else you got? Single combat? That card's pretty cool. What else you got? Bannerman? Alright, that one's not so good. Not so good. <laughs> Don't think we're going to be hitting that allegiance trigger. I guess it's still a three mana three three. Alright, let's mess some folks up. I'm always up for a round or two. <laughs> I really like the twisted fate voice. Always up for a round or two. Okay, that wasn't very good. Yeah, I am happy. That's true. I'm happy my opponent doesn't have the Bannerman. Hmm. Letting 
gets golden glory. So even if they play, I guess they don't have Garen in their deck. They have Quinn. Um, My shield is yours. Ugh, that's gross. Okay, nice, Rex. You've been doing good with Karma Lux. not really that worth it to do anything else single combat doesn't really save anything you know attack with might like not really reason to do anything else Ugh, these grizzled rangers yeah yeah i'm up oh what am i doing why am i doing that pre-combat they're just going to steal my powder cake. At least my powder cake doesn't do anything anyway, to be fair. It really doesn't do anything anyway. So they're going to repost, kill my Gangplank, and then I get Gangplank back. Um, otherwise, I'm getting Twisted Fate back. Question, is it worth it a single combat a unit that's been glimpsed beyond? A ch yeah, usually, yeah, because because they get to draw two, so you know, like you're trading because you, that that is a two for one. Because like you are trading your single, like so it kind of depends. You are trading your single combat for for two cards from them. The reason why it wouldn't be worth it would be if if you don't have very much removal and that single combat is really valuable. Like you need to have that single combat available to. Um, Like if you if you really need to have that available to um, deal with something specific later on. That'd be when you wouldn't really want to. Eight mana, this is three. Or is it ten mana, so that's three, so I'd have seven. So I could still might, and then also beast or Yordle Grifter. This puts me down to five. You gotta trust your instincts. Throw this away too. I don't wanna get I don't really want to get twisted fate back with the mist call. I would like to get Rekindler. That would be the best case scenario. Yeah. I'm actually here. Safety will cost you. We whiffed, so we got a Shadow Isles card coming up. Deal four to anything? 
Dang. So, all my allies do double damage. So that means this thing does 10 overwhelm. No. No. My combo. Kind of rude chap. Playing Purify. <clears throat> I know, so sad. This was going to be lethal. Well, cool. Surrendered anyway. Dreadway combo 1 0. Still lethal, because they conceded. <laughs> okay, Twisted Fate is voiced by Owen Thomas. Gotcha. Okay. What do we got? Elise Thresh Trindamir. I'm just gonna get rid of my fives and nines. You know, like five nine offsuit, not a good poker hand, so let's just get rid of those. We are playing the Twisted Fate deck, so we gotta make sure we have good poker hands. See we got a pair of twos with a five kicker. That's a little bit better. I'm not. Sh I'm not sure, McDonald. What do you, what do you mean the the sub percival icon? Oh, I think I know what you mean. I think I think everybody has that icon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like from in the main screen. I think if you click that, there's like, there's like I don't know, ten or whatever options for you to use for your icon. And that's one of them. And I think everybody has that. As an option. Well, that's pretty good. That's not bad. I probably shouldn't have blocked with the Coral Creatures. Because they definitely block here now, I think. Maybe, maybe not. If I don't block and I just let them have the two 1-1s one and I have a 1-2, they probably just take the 1. Yeah, so I think that player icon is just available to everyone, as far as I know. No, I'm not in any kind of tournament later today. So I don't really want to Bissalai to get um, Grasp of the Undying. It's harder to kill Gangplank, but they do kill Gangplank. I'll have Rekindler. Also, withdrawing... Withdrawing, uh... Make It Rain. 
does make the does make playing the gangplank and getting the powder cake a lot better. <laughs> yeah, see. We just traded Make It Rain for uh, I don't really have to attack and have Gangplank take damage. I have this Withering Whale. That's a pretty good trade for us. Got the Grass of the Undying out of the hand instead of the Grass killing my Abyssal Eye. The thing is, they're probably going to play Brood Awakening right after I play this. Oh, they had that. That's fine. So you're saying the game always matches you with somebody with the same icon? That doesn't seem right. What are your considerations when you decide to attack versus not attack? Why wouldn't you swing when you have the chance? Basically, I didn't want... I I had removal for both of their uh, enemies that they had in play, and I didn't want gang, I didn't want them to be able to have the 3-1 block Gangplank and have Gangplank be smaller and be... Uh, and be vulnerable to a removal spell. Like this. I never disclose my sources. I could speed up this draw animation on Pilfer Goods. You weren't using it. I'm not sure why it's it's so slow. I, I I do expect that to be something that they will speed up over time, but for now it's very slow. Playing our opponent's deck. Who would face me? Turn to mirror. Hmm. Alright, so now, so Trinomir goes to the 9-9, and now we can use the Vengeance to kill the 9-9. We have to kill the 8-4 first. They could like atrocity in response. They can play a new Trindamir. There's there's some things that can go wrong. But I still I think this is my best option. You think I should go to go to combat go to combat first and then after they block, then vengeance? punished for playing that skitter. Uh, 
Oh, yes. If Yeah, if they would have blocked Gangplank. Yeah, that would have been good. If that was going to be their block. Hey, Eric! Thanks for the sub, our fourth sub of the day. The bot's a little, little behind, that's alright. Thank you, Eric, thanks for that support. We're one away from our sub goal. So yeah, if I, if I play the Hunter, I can challenge... I can have Hunter challenge this thing. Um... Maybe that's the thing to do. Man, so many options, but nothing's good. None of these are good options. I am so glad they didn't just do that to their they who endure. That thing would have been a lot bigger. It would have been impossible for me to kill. I feel like that was what they were supposed to do. So much for my plan of using the stun to kill that. I guess we're going to be doing one damage. All right, we got a Dreadway. Now all we need is a Ledros. I mean, it doesn't... It doesn't really matter if you whale first or not, right? Like, the, the targets will be chosen before the whale resolves. It's not like it's not like the whale's gonna happen and then it chooses... And then you kill a bunch of stuff with whale and then it chooses targets from Make It Rain. The targets were, will already be there. Maybe I shouldn't have played the Make It Rain, because we'd have this. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. I 
I guess they're saying I'm dead. Yep. If all three they who endures. All three of them. <laughs> yep, sometimes we just die. That happens. Just can't, I can't really stop atrocity. I don't know if there's much to do about that. Except for our, our pilfered goods and our black market merchants need to be better. We need to be stealing the atrocities. We didn't. <laughs> that's, that's my strat. Steal their good cards. Thanks, Jay. All right, we got half our combo. Oh Is I do need to play some more fizz. We got a one mana spell. I was gonna say that does one damage, but the answer is no. So red card will be able to take out Fizz, right? Like this, because red card doesn't target. So I could just wait till next turn and Twisted Fate red card and take out Fizz that way. I have, I don't, I have no idea what, what tournament y'all are talking about today. I, I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. All right, so I'm losing, I'm losing one damage, um, but I'm not letting them play stuff because I think they wanted me to attack first, and then they're gonna play something. All right, they're red carding me back. Fair game. That's, that's the thing, like, whatever tournaments they're doing, like, they have to start doing the tournaments in clients, like, we can find it and not, like, somewhere else. Like, I don't, I don't know anything about any tournament at all for this game. Probably getting better cards than I am, than I did. I mean, the Ural Grifter is awesome. Warning shot, not so awesome. Quickly. So we're both at three out of eight for our Twisted Fates. All right, so if I play Yordle Grifter, I'm gonna have three, six, seven, eight other cards. So yeah, we can still we can still draw two. Making sure that's the case. So I am gonna have to just fire off something so to fire that off. To we have our Drifter is worth playing without Rex. Which one's the Drifter? Let's do this. We're talking about like the... This... Grifter? Yeah, Grifter... Grifter is great. Yeah, especially like if you can somewhat reliably get the Allegiance. 
but yeah, it's a it's a really good card. good no Come on hit the twist of fate yeah that's big okay so this is this is it it's NSC No, what they do? I don't like it. Suit up. I don't like it. Uh, no, I haven't really played much Hearthstone. Yeah, yeah that's a problem. Hit this, draw a card. Yes. It's so my only way to draw a card right now. What was that? And I, I needed to keep, I needed to cast that warning shot to get a card out of hand. Uh, I won't be doing the one today, Rex, but maybe in future. There's a lot of great up upgrade animations, but yeah, Twisted Fate is up there, but yeah, there's a lot of great ones. So they didn't get a card with the Black Market Merchant? If I play Jaw Hunters, it gets gold carded and it dies. Right now, I don't know. One of these is getting gold carded, either Twisted Fate or the Yordle Grifter. I'm not sure which one.
So like, I don't. Okay, so I can I can target. Okay, so it's gonna target the Yordle Grifter. Okay, good. Wait. I can just attack with like some of these crappy one ones, but it's not too much of a point to do. Dang, they're taking my pilfer goods. Oh yeah, the elusive definitely should have attacked. That's true. Yeah, definitely should attack with the elusive. Yeah, the yeah, that was just an oversight on my part. My hand's kind of too expensive right now. Blue as the serpent. I, of course, need to be able to red card and do one damage to all their stuff. And so that's what this suit up is going to do. It's going to let me red card. Yeah, this this one doesn't die to red card, so I shouldn't attack with this. But yeah, I could have I could have attacked with these these crappy one ones because they'll die to the red card anyway. Um, I mean, I was just attacking into things that also are going to die to the red card, so it's. Stop with the pilfer goods. They've just stolen all my pilfer goods. Are you kidding me? They've they've taken all my pilfer goods so then and just continue taking more stuff. Not cool. Not cool. They took all my cheap spells. Hesitation to tell. But hopefully we have you know hopefully our turn two our two turn combo works. For this next turn. Yeah, because next turn's turn nine, so we're gonna drop Dreadway and then Ledros. Hopefully. Uh, the yes, when you when you play Twisted Fate, the very first Twisted Fate, you get to choose which Destiny card that you want to play, uh, blue, gold, or red. When it, when Twisted Fate's leveled up, it goes in order. It always plays blue, then red, then gold. Oh dang. A four mana rekindler. 
from me. Well, it looks like this game could be over. So what's the point of doing that and doing two attacks? Why not just attack with all of them to begin with? Oh, because you get zero mana Jaw Hunters. Turns out having triple black market merchant and then all you do is steal pilfered goods over and over and over is kind of broken. I'm, I'm just jealous. I'm, I'm mad because I wanted to be doing that. They got to keep taking my pilfered goods and, and all the black market merchants. I want to have all those cards, not all the, you know, super expensive cards. What if Unyielding Spirit, some people in chat are talking about Unyielding Spirit a little bit. What if it, what if it was like a lot of like those other kind of cards that, what if it just didn't target champions? What if it would like make a non-champion indestructible and stuff? We got Treasures of the Ages right. to drop something. I never disclose my sources. It's possible I should wait till after Twist of Fates and play, and then start drawing all those cards. Another pump thing, this is bad. Okay. Let me show you what I can do. Fight or die. Attack. Let's get a good look at you. All right, so probably Swain and Sejuani are going to be showing up. You weren't using it. I would like things that deal with Swain and Sejuani. Do you have any of those? Doesn't look like it. I've got a vengeance. I like Unyielding Spirit, but then again, I'm a Degenerate, so... Uh-oh...
Need one more mana before I can deal with that. I mean, if I... I mean, I guess I, I just have to block with this thing. I guess. Just to not take seven damage. I don't like that. I don't like that this is my turn. Where's my Swain? Just draw a Swain. I want to draw a Swain. Obviously, we don't have a Swain in our deck, so we don't actually draw a Swain. As you can see, we didn't get to. Dude, this full art looks really cool. There we go. We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> Sorry, V squared. It says watching you play so early really makes me not want to be at work, so I can go play some help. some Rune Terra. Ouch! So I'm down to six. It's gonna be a close game. Leviathans. No, less Edwani. The winter's claw endures. Less Edwani. More Leviathan. For me. Less Edwani for you. <laughs> we have chores to do, but you're watching Hawktie playing Rintar instead. Good thing they don't get to attack this turn. Destination, in sight. <laughs> Destination is in sight. Double <laughs> Leviathan. Woo. Man, these plunder cards are so good. Last game we lost because my opponent stole all my plunder cards and kept on, you know, taking them. This time we won because I took all the plunder because I had all the plunder cards. All right, two and two. <laughs> How much mana to do the dishes and lunch? That's what I'm about to do after this, at least the lunch part. I haven't, I didn't, uh, because we started early, I didn't really have time to eat breakfast beforehand. So I haven't eaten anything yet today. So, I'm getting hungry, so that's what I'm going to be doing after this. All right, let's get this win. We got to get this 3-2 to keep everything even. Go away, go away. Go away, go away, go away now. Uh, I mean, Withering Whale is good against all their stuff. The, the problem, again, is going to be... I guess I'll keep you. So this, this is a, a match that we lost earlier. We, we did lose to this deck earlier. Um, you know, they who endure plus atrocity. That's an egg. It's tough. Tough life. I must get out of here. Yeah, I usually eat breakfast. Just kind of ran out of time. Today. Alright, looks like we get some spiders. Yeah, remember when Frenzy Skitter was a 3-3? It'd be great right now as a 3-3. No, 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 no. 
Come on, block with the 2-2. Two -two. No. Darn. Some they're going to block with the 2-2. Two -two. Help our Withering Whale out. Yeah, you don't kill that anymore. Thankfully. Yeah, yeah, Scrub, there will definitely be a competitive scene with this game. In the future, we're still getting there. We just got the mobile. You know, that's the first, you know, that's the first thing. It'll get there. But yeah, no, that's, that's absolutely the plan. Yeah, your account links to it. Yeah, you just have you just have a Riot account, and it links on mobile, and it's it's really smooth. And yeah, I definitely definitely recommend uh, doing it. Like I, you know, I I do it on uh, you know I just downloaded it on my phone, signed into my Riot account that had all this stuff, and you just start playing, and it's it's really slick. It's just like playing on here. Your hand, because there isn't there isn't like room. On, for like your hand and the, the battlefield like next to each other, so your hand is like is here in the corner. But you can you can click on it to pull it out to be able to see it better. Um, but then yeah, you can just you just pull stuff. That thresh is gonna level up, and I'm sad. I can have it not level up if I parlay it. But then I only do one damage to stuff, so I'm not killing the mist rates. I think we just have Thresh to level up. Again, we got, you know, have the Grass the Undying target my little powder keg. That's always pretty good. Dang, I want to be taking their They Who Endures. That's what I want to be taking. Uh, 
Alright, so I will attack here. Get another attack step. Yeah, I really like Vulnerable and Challenger and that kind of stuff. It's... You know, definitely add some, some skill. Quarter could be fun. All of these things are going to die to Withering Whale, so I don't really want to have. You know, I don't really, don't really want to like trade or anything. Uh, they are just digging closer to they who endure and atrocity. Because I've taken a lot of cards from their deck also, so like they're they're getting pretty close to that combo, and I don't like it. Two, three, four, five. So Ye been warned. As a sassy guard, right? You've been warned. Oh, let me see if Yud finished with those thumbnails. I think. I think Yud was almost done with those. Um. Not the best trade for me. I like getting that off the battlefield. Yes. Okay. So we had what? Twisted Karma, Ezreal Swain. Let's head on over to YouTube and get those going. Give me just a minute to put the thumbnails on the YouTube, the other two YouTube videos. One's down, and the other one is good. Okay. 11 mana. Shipwreck Hoarder. <laughs> it could just be sitting on the combo. They have 12 mana. If these last two cards are like the combo, I, I could just be dead. I'm gonna catch you. Ooh, fresh soil. That's annoying. I was going to challenge those with the coral creatures. Yeah, that thing's big.
mean, like they, they have like those two ephemeral things that are gonna die. Like, I mean, if I just attack out, like that kills like Gangplank and Razor Scale Hunter for for free, and then they get you know just a good chump block there and like take out like my Black Market Merchant. So like I I deal three damage to them and have and trade two thing and trade three things for those two little two ones. Just not a very good attack. But I know I'm just giving them more time to set up this combo, but yeah, I mean, they just have it. Yeah. My plunder cards, again, didn't help me. Didn't help take any of their combo. And I didn't have my own combo. I didn't have either pieces of my combo. But uh, that was kind of pretty late there anyway. That's just such a good combo. They who endure just play infinite things that die, and then they who endure atrocity. That's so hard to stop. My answer is that vengeance, but I have to, you know, what am I supposed to do? Go to one <laughs> and just not cast vengeance there? Um... But anyway, there we go. That's that's the Dreadway combo. Again, we never got to pull it off. Just like last time when we played the deck, we didn't get to pull it off. It's so hard to have like one of your nine drops in play and get the other nine drop. But besides that, this deck's pretty good. Um, yeah, like, you know, like we, you know, yeah, this deck was really good. Two of our losses were to the exact same bad matchup. They who endure atrocity. I, I We just don't really realistically stop that that combo. So like that, we just got paired against that twice, and we lost twice against that. So if you don't count, if you don't count that, you know, weird matchup that you don't, you know, that's not a, a deck you see very often at all. And I'm just saying, if besides that, we have been uh, six and two with the deck. So you know, real real good win rate. Besides just playing against that, they who endure atrocity combo. Um. Yeah, Rex, I do agree with you. Yep, Purify does have a ton of good targets right now. I do, I do kind of recommend playing Purifies in, in Demacia, especially like especially like how you said you're playing Karma Lux. Definitely, that deck should have Purifies. It's kind of harder to play um, like an aggressive like Bannerman deck with Purifies, but um, even just Purifying Boom Crew Rookie is really nice. You know that or or Crimson Aristocrat, um, but Boom, you know Boom Crew Rookie just turning that into a one four is awesome. Um, but, uh, yeah, there we go. So that's Dreadway Combo. All right. Those y'all that are watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and, uh, leave those comments. You got any questions, anything like that, you know, feel free to let, uh, let me know in the comment section. Uh, those y'all, some newer watch, uh, viewers here on, uh, Twitch. That's my, that's the link to the YouTube channel right there. YouTube.com slash Hawktie. I play four, four or five decks every single day and upload them. I play different stuff. I don't just play the exact same meta decks you always see. So if you like seeing, uh, different decks and interesting stuff, check out the YouTube channel there. All right. That's it here for Dreadway Combo though. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.